What happens when you leave a raw steak in acid for a month? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. And please give a good mythical welcome to someone who's gonna be extremely helpful to us today, Science Mike McCard. All right. <laughs> welcome to the show, Mike. Yeah, it's fun to be here. Okay, now there's a handful of reasons why Mike is our special guest today. Uh, mm -hmm. For starters, if you don't already know Mike, he hosts a wildly informative podcast called Ask Science Mike, and he's got a new book that we think everyone needs to read called You're a Miracle and a Pain in the Ass, Embracing the Emotions, Habits, and Mystery that Make You, You. But also, the real deal, Mike is one of our closest real life friends. Aren't we? I, I believe so. I believe so. It's <laughs> mutual in my way. Yes. He's our mutual best friend, guys. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that sweet? Uh, we also need Mike here today to offer his scientific knowledge, which he has a lot of, and emotional support, which you're also very good at. Mm -hmm. uh, as we once again visit the shelf that we leave things on, or as we like to call it, the shelf that we leave things on. And Mike, why don't you do the honors today? Whew. Okay, here we go. They've done coke. Bleach, air, Guinness, salt, pool water, nail polish remover, mouthwash, champagne, yeah. shamrock shakes, and Irish whiskey, uh -huh. a 93 Infinity G20, margaritas, dirt, wine, and glow sticks. But today, they're shaking that lemon tree and tapping that acid. It's time for <laughs> Left, Left on a Shelf Citric Acid Edition. Yeah. Oh, Mike got a special badge. We didn't. VIP scientist. Where's our special badge? Are we not? Oh, we're not scientists. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, working as a team, we're going to be presented with an item or multiple items and options for what happened when those items were left in citric acid for a month. All right. If we get three or more of these correct, we will win the coveted, bedazzled, bebobbled lab goggles. <laughs> That's no pressure. That. Yeah, you want that, don't you? <laughs> Definitely. I know how you feel about bedazzled and bebobbled stuff. All right, for our first round, we have the meats. And we also have the Beyond Meats. We left this T-bone steak and a Beyond Meat sausage in citric acid for a month. Okay, let's look at our options. Hmm. Which jar of citric acid developed a thick layer of mold like Link's love doll made of cheese, AKA Miss Swiss. <laughs> what? Yeah. Uh, why are you you're playing do dumb now? I don't know. I know okay. about Miss Swiss. Uh, was it A, the T-bone steak, B, Beyond Sausage, or C, both? The okay. total outcome confuses me because citric acid, specifically citric acid solution, is usually lose, used as a food preservative. So the fact that we have mold at all is kind of wild. Okay, um, here, here's the thing though, Mike. It may not be mold. It may just look like mold. Uh, and possible. all these liberal arts people <laughs> <laughs> who don't they, wear lab coats they and say think VIP. That, it's mold. that happens all the time on this show. Hmm. So but, we might want to say developed a thick layer of mold like stuff. <laughs> it, or the, it might be mold. So, but the thing with this sausage is I don't know what's in a Beyond Meat. Uh, usually plant fibers, especially from legumes. Um, okay. My my kind of take here, it's very unlikely to be mold. Uh, so it's either the plant material here has started to escape, simply probably because of saturation, or if the pH of the solution was low enough, then we started to get some basically metal coming out of the, the steak, which would be black in appearance. What? Metal. Hold on, you talking, about, you talking about metal coming out of a steak? <laughs> That's so metal. Hold on, hold on. I don't... I, I don't, so if I eat a steak, the me, um, metal's gonna come out in my innards? It's the iron, right? There's iron in beef. Iron's so not a metal. You can use strong acids to start to pull metals out of other materials. All right. So it's a tough call. This seems like, the, the, well, that sounded really compelling. Like, it's basically breaking it down and it's kind of escaping. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah so okay. I'm gonna go with B, Beyond Sausage. I'll go with B, Beyond Sausage. Okay. I'm in. All right, B, Beyond Sausage. Okay, so let's we'll show see if the we got steak some escaped first. metal. Oh my gosh, that, oh. Ooh. Now what, there's mold on that, I'm sorry. That's green, but it's above the surface of the solution. I oh, that smells truly horrible. Oh gosh, welcome to our world, Mike. Um, you do see that blackening there. Um, Ooh! Little, little coagulation of the fat, that is. There's, there's some green, would you, are you guys classifying that as mold? 
Why don't you open the other one? Let's see the other okay. one. I wouldn't call that a thick that's, that's layer. That's not a thick layer. But that oh! is... Okay. Oh, man. Look how big that is. You gotta thing open got. it for science. You out there, you gotta be so happy it's not smell a vision. <laughs> oh, gosh. That is proper mold on the top of the solution. Now, I learned how to waft, but my problem with wafting is I often turn over the entire thing I'm trying to waft. <laughs> Man, Do you guys have anything you wanted to say to our liberal arts mythical crew? Rhett? Uh, Rhett. <laughs> um, you know, it, it, uh, good for you. You're using your degree. Red, Red doesn't know how to say sorry. <laughs> we're working on that. Signature acid isn't a super strong acid, so one thing we're gonna remember as we go through these, it looks like over time, the acid is actually losing its acidity as it reacts to the items in the jar. That's what happens. It's allowing mold That's to grow. That's science, y'all. But <laughs> hey, all I know is we were right, right? We have two bug creatures in front of us. We have this Oh my goodness, it is dead, right? Oh my no! God. <laughs> a rhino beetle. That thing looks like something you buy at a toy shop, but that's real, isn't it? It is real. It can be found on dry land on every continent, except for Antarctica. Uh, uh, we also notice. have this thing, Mike. What is this? It's an isopod, that's a sea crustacean. Um, I think it looked like half a lobster. No claws though. I thought those yeah, went extinct millions of years ago. Uh, they are related to organisms that have been extinct for millions of years okay. and relatively unchanged since then. All right, okay, well. here's our options presented to us. When left in citric acid for a month, which bug changed the color of its surroundings like the bag of flour that hit Link in the face really hard and then everyone laughed really hard? Yep. I remember that. Was it the rhino beetle, the isopod, or both? Change the color of its surroundings. Both of these creatures share in common that their exoskeletons are primarily chitinous. They're made of chitin. And we know that when- Watch Chitlins. your mouth. Ch <laughs> Chit chitin, the, the, the protein. Uh, we okay. know that with uh, some sea life like crabs, as ocean levels become more acidic, that their shells begin to break down um, and get soft, and I would imagine if they were stuck in a solution, hmm. those particles would start to float loosely. Gosh, this is tough. But this one, ha it looks to me, we've eaten that. On like the show, there's I more pigment in this one. Yes. Have we eaten that? Right. Is that a good word? And this. Do my nightmares serve no, me correctly? Eaten, yeah, but it doesn't. It didn't have that coloring. It was all black. So I don't know if it was a rhino beetle that you ate. <sighs> I would think that if this exoskeleton broke down because it's got it's so dark that it mm. might change color. Around There's a it. lot of juice in that beetle. Trust me, if it's like the ones we have eaten, would you call mm. it beetle juice? <laughs> <laughs> more so than this one. Um, this is going to uh, have a more porous shell. Also, the, it's the citric acid is going to have an easier time permeating the shell completely. Although in a month, both could happen. But we've also seen that the pH of the solution changes over time. Uh, we have seen that. I, I'm just I'm thinking the rhino beetle just because it's got a couple of different colors. Y using my, using my deductions, that's just more chances that it's going to be colors Mike, how coming out. How do you out. feel about that? What color? I don't know the context here. What was the color of the bag of flour that hit Link? White. It was white. I think I might be with red here. I might favor the isopod just All right. based on pigmentation. All right. So we're just gonna we're okay. gonna go with B, the isopod. All right. Nothing. Oh, Nothing. we're right. Because right. this didn't do you anything. You saved us, Mike. You <laughs> saved me from myself. So it made it yellowish. Yeah, it did nothing to this, basically. Oh, he looks like just perfectly preserved mm. almost. Yeah, well, it is a pres preserving agent. I wonder if it's mushy. This guy's still very firm. It didn't do anything to him. Oh, oh this is this is mushy. It stinks though, boy. Well, That's a whole it's... different episode. Will you come back for, is it mushy? <laughs> 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 All right, so right there. Oh. This is really a preservation agent, so I would expect it to do a pretty good job of Presenting, preventing decomposition because there's no microbial growth inside to do, to break uh, it down. Uh, yeah, that yeah. looks great. Eat that lobster, why don't you? <laughs> Dink it. <laughs> the mythical crew left cracked raw eggs in citric acid and uncracked raw eggs in citric acid. Which eggs became engulfed in a strange white growth, much like Link's lip during a herpes flare up because he has herpes on his lip. <laughs> You're right. Just, just, just so you know. <laughs> Not he's currently. Got, he's got herpes on his lip. I got it in my bloodstream. <laughs> okay. Uh, engulfed in a strange white growth. I'm actually really confident in this because oh, yeah? when you put uh, eggshells in acid, they react in foam 
and uh, it's a pretty immediate and energetic reaction. So, what about this one? With no cell, it's not going to react. Well, it'll react, but primarily by being preserved. It won't look visibly different, I don't think. You know what? I feel really good about this reasoning. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna go with a the raw mm -hmm. egg mm -hmm. in the shell. Oh yeah! Look at that, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, that's just ah. that's just oh, broken down that. eggshell. Did it swell or is that just an optical illusion? Uh, there's probably some swelling. Yeah. Well, especially now, uh, eggs have a complete membrane on the inside, and they don't have the. Oh, look at that! It did exactly what you said. It's like soft. That is crazy. Here, put it. Oh, look. The, yeah. I mean, the egg is waiting to just pop right out. Oh, oh, oh. You know what? We and we should do that. Uh, take a oh. take a little scalpel. This one's got some mold on top. Look. There's a snoo packet of mold on uh, top of this. What's thing. a snoo packet? It's like a, it's like a tobacco you put in your lip. <laughs> That's a new term for me as well. Right? Snooze. 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 Snooze? <laughs> oh, look at this egg. Those eggs basically got poached. You know what I'm saying? Oh. They basically poached themselves. So visceral. All right, here we go. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna break the membrane. Everybody, watch out. Could be a little squirt. No. Nope, oh, nope, excellent, nope. excellent technique. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh. oh, and it just deflates, yeah. man. Like the worst egg drop soup I've ever seen. Yes. Okay, that's three, three, for three for three. We already won, but let's do one more for kicks. <laughs> yeah, we already won, so we're just <laughs> we're just flaunting it now. And we saved our most colorful round for last. We have a Barbie doll that has been submerged in citric acid for a month, and we have something that I think Mike will enjoy called bismuth, mm. which is element number 83 on the periodic table. Ooh. It's a brittle crystalline metal with a rainbow-like color. It's also the active ingredient in Pepto-Bismol. So, what? That's true. Are you serious? That's what the bismol is, what, is from, bismuth. Is that why it, it's pink when it goes in your mouth and then it's black when it comes out your poop? Yeah. <laughs> uh, which item lost its color like Link's anus before a spring break trip to Cancun? <laughs> Gotta get ready. <laughs> because he bleaches his anus. <laughs> oh, wow. Hmm. Uh, is it the Barbie, the bismuth, oh, or both? Wow. The, uh, to me, the bismuth would break down instead of changing color, which makes me suspect the Barbie, but I'm I'm the least sure about this one of all of it. This, first of all, this is mesmerizing stuff. I mean, the geometric. Unless it reacted and became mostly a salt, uh, oh which gosh. is possible over here I was here thinking as the well. same thing. <laughs> so, well. Yeah, because that, 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 when it becomes a solution, becomes a base, and a salt and a base react to create a salt. Versus what is your like answer? Acid and a base. It doesn't matter, we've already won the goggles. <laughs> I go with the Barbie. Okay. We're going with the Barbie. Let's look at the bismuth first. Yeah, yeah. look at the bismuth first. Oh. oh, we were wrong, guys. And let's see that Barbie. Oh, oh she turned upside wrong? down. <laughs> she turned Barbie. She turned white. Yeah, she turned look white. Look at her. What's wrong with you, Barb? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. This is surprising. And why in science we back up a hypothesis with an experiment. Yes, that was why we did this. Oh gosh. <laughs> So we made bismuth not cool anymore. That's actually, I don't know, that's pretty cool. It makes it a more, more classic metal. The damage this show is doing is, is insurmountable. <laughs> this girl is stuck in here forever. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? She is gonna just continue, whoop, there you go. Just like that, that's all we're gonna do. We couldn't have done it without you, Mike. But you know what? We also left Link's glasses in citric acid for a month. That doesn't seem safe at all. Don't let any of that drip on you. <laughs> oh. That's where those have been. All right, be sure to pick up Mike's new book, You're a Miracle and a Pain in the Ass, Embracing the Emotions, Habits, and Mystery that Make You, You. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. Now you say you know what time it is. Guys, I watched the show. You know what time it is. <laughs> yeah. Hi, I'm Elliot Kangas from Minnesota, and it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. We don't know if he's still around. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but that was worth it, totally Ooh. worth it. It's definitely cold, whatever happened. Uh, click the top link to watch Mike answer the mythical crew's most pressing science questions and give me more. And to find out where the will of mythicality is gonna land. In honor of our all time favorite musician, grab a listen to more Merle T and do what the shirt says. Available now at mythical.com.